yeah, there is great prospect of wind energy sector in Nepal because we already there is a mismatch between supply and demand, and uh, there is a policy in place which wants to develop a small wind scale manufacture company, and we have lots of prospect of developing. Uh, generating electricity in the mid hill and the and the water pumping application in Tarai region. Government have a provision of exempting VAT and tax, import VAT and tax. And uh, even recently, I heard that the government is willing to share the cost related to the resource assessment and the risk. That's a, a very good point. And uh, there is some incentives that based on the. Uh, micro hydro subsidy. Micro hydro implementation <coughs> model is considered very good in Nepal, and uh, that subsidy scheme is going to be on wind energy sector very soon. <coughs> the, some policy recommendation as we come to know that the resource assessment is a one challenge, and the upfront cost is another challenge, and the operation maintenance is the third challenge. Therefore, the Policy initiatives should be able to address those challenges. Therefore, the, the first resource assessment related challenges can go through if AEPC or the practical action can loan the resource assessment equipment to the prospective uh, owner or the prospective interested people. The upfront it's in Upfront incentives can be managed with the, some green funds. Or the, there in Nepal, there is a mandatory rules that requires bank and the other financial institutions to invest a part of its investment in the renewable energy sector. Even if we can channelize those funds, that could be a good. We can. We have to channelize that funds to the wind energy sector, and the. Even we have to make the people aware of it and we have to let them people know that the small wind turbine is an option for go ahead. And uh, there are some issues related to the product life cycle based strategy and uh, I would recommend that the uh, I'm a great lover of uh, distributing incentives based upon the performance rather than the based upon the incentives because that keeps that kind of strategy keeps uh, owner to uh, keeps makes owner to maintain their turbines properly and uh, the other thing we need to do is the we, we have seen lots of risk on this market therefore we have to make some attempt to make the insurance company work on this so that we can partly mitigate the risk related to this business. And we have to probably focus on that direction, make the insurance company uh, get into the wind energy business or the small wind energy business. <coughs> uh, in this slide, financing model I already talked about, like green fund and the mandatory investment in RE sector. I'm proposing a joint ownership, uh, something like a manufacturer and the community owner project, and the community will pay back the manufacturer based upon the amount of energy they use. It. That makes uh, manufacturer more responsible towards the OMM services and to keep the turbine running. And uh, ultimately, we have to make some arrangement on the insurance market to come. And this, this, uh, I would like to request the manufacturer to be more productive, proactive on selling their units. They, I would suggest them to come up as a energy service company. Currently, they are selling uh, their units, but. Uh, no one knows that if that unit is going to work for the time they are claiming. Therefore, in this little unfriendly environment for the small wind turbine, maybe we can build up market if the manufacturer or the some organization come up as an energy service company. 
and in, that will make uh, that will help uh, to create more demands on the sector. Government policy has to focus on the make sense economically, and we need an educational campaign, and we have to share the success story through media to make people more aware about it. Thank you very much. Some encouraging news for the wind energy industry in the farm, which I didn't know about. Thank you very much, Ron. Are there any questions? Uh, yeah, we talk about that the government is planning for a subsidy program, and uh, up to what size uh, would you be able to consider that program? In our definition of a small wind energy turbine, probably the Maybe Naranji correct if I'm wrong. 10 kilowatt and less are considered yeah. as a small wind turbine. And uh, probably that's the number you want to hear. We are planning for a maximum 10 kilowatts. Yeah, Kat, do you have any more information about the Asian Development Bank uh, project or proposals or what's going to happen with them in the bowl? I'm afraid I'm, a, I'm the right person to. Answer so that question. Probably Narayan Adhikari from APC can answer that question better. Actually, from Asia regions, uh, ADB has selected three countries to implement the program called Energy for All mm -hmm. as a pilot model. And Philippines, Nepal, and Mongolia are three countries for the implementation of small scale wind projects. And uh, recently, ADB team uh, has visited to two to three proposed sites on Nepal. And uh, we have proposed like uh, one uh, site at Noel Parasi, where Practical Action already uh, did some uh, preliminary tasks and they have developed some reports. On that basis, uh, we are planning to implement a model, a rural energy model village, by supplying the uh, energy requirement through uh, solar and hybrid, wind hybrid systems. And another, other uh, proposed sites are also there. And that would be financed by an ADB? Yeah. 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 Any other questions? No? Well, thank you very much, Ron. That's great.